Greetings fellow humans, welcome to Once More Into the Breach. Let's play Into the Breach, run number two, episode number two. My name is Flailbot. We are about to snag ourselves an achievement for getting nine reputation on a single corporate island. And that's this guy. By finishing this, two of our pilots leveled, uh, giving them both plus one move. That would be Nico, Nick, and Tui. Um, which is good. The rocket mech moving more is practical, um, and having the jet mech move six is going to mean I can get anywhere I need to be. Probably going to want to put the next couple of um, reactor cores into the aerial bombs just to get more damage onto those tougher enemies. And it's potentially worthwhile to pick up this shield-friendly thing. Because it does say shield adjacent ally or building, and it clearly in the animation shields both of them, which is kind of amazing. So let's give it a spin. Destroy five goos, protect the corporate tower. Let's do it. All right. Airplane up front, a goo. Hive leader. Five goos, that's quite a few goos. That means one goo per turn, right? A lot of goos. All right. Um... See if we we'll see if we can do the damage output to kill five goos a turn. That's that's tough stuff. I'm gonna want to move my artillery forward. Oh, they also attack. Somehow I did not think they would attack. Okay. Let's. Push you. Smoke you. And you're going to move forward because I want to get those smokes as forward as possible. So you should attack that guy. Well, I guess with a charge. Uh oh. Attempt to squish the adjacent tile. I'm hoping that it won't smash my building. There we go. Cool. Oh, any move to attack. Of course. Who wouldn't? So we're going to need to sort of focus fire these goose if we want to get the, the goose killed so far up. Gonna wanna jump here and clear that. And it would be good if we could push someone into some smoke. But I can't move. I can push and then move. What if we just jumped here instead and then used our pusher man? How far can our pusher man move? Can't move, but how far normally? Four, one, two, three, four, push there. Let's try that. Attack canceled. Move here. Push your man. Good, an electric damage. Ah, you've created more smoke. Glorious. Um, let's see. If we should move here and shoot this guy, then we smoke him, which is great. My word. If we need... Attack won't be cancelled if he moves. Uh oh. I think 
we're going to eat a building damage here. Well, let's smoke the... the big goo. Ah, they have less hit points. Good, and we can push... Oh no, undo. She went into the smoke, came out of the house. It's too much smoke, I smoked everything, it's so smoky. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um... Is it worth resetting the turn so I can try something different? Now this guy took out two attacks in one go. That was a great move. I mean, I could do it again. And this, I don't see how I do it differently. I could smoke this guy instead, and then he dies, and then the blob is there. And what? I can move and push the blob, but that doesn't do anything. So I think, unfortunately, we're just going to move here to block uh, spawn. That's the best we can do at this point. We're going to eat a building damage. I'll see what else we can do. We already have a shield, so there's no reason to shield again. Electric damage, that's good news. 90 casualties, that's bad news. Um, I want to free this guy. Because we need him. Or we can push the goos into one another. We still need to free the guys. How many points do you have? One. Push them into each other. They'll each take a damage, but no one's going to be dead. Wait, could we do... Okay. We gotta push him first. And again, we have a thing over here, but having five enemies or whatever is sort of difficult to address. No, we're supposed to resist. But did we... Oh, we screwed it up because we didn't have enough goos, but we still got the ones. We got nine, so we did it. All right, that could have been worse. Could have been way worse. I think that was okay. We learned a lot about the goose, so if we have to do the goose again, then at least we know something. Range class weapon, freeze yourself and the target. Why? I guess it's like a shield, but if no one attacks you. Although if you're planning a B attack, then it's a free shield, but geez, in every case? You really have to position this guy in such a place that he gets killed. Repair drop, heal all player units, including disabled mechs. Oh, it doesn't require any power. It costs two. Alternately, fire projectile that applies acid and pushes. Oh, that's kind of nice because then I'll have more options on my my fancy mech. And we have grappling hook for brute classes. Is my plane a brute? It is brute ranged science. Huh. Pull mech towards objects or objects towards mech. Uh, okay, so if you default free shield ally, if you pull them to you, I suppose. Let's say we could dump a bunch of money to get that achievement. It would only be five money, which is not terrible. 
Um, other things that we kind of want would be this acid projector. Would then be more money. We have five plus two, seven, and we can't afford a reactor core. That's neat. One, two, three, four, five. Chivo. Continue. So you, sir, are going to get the. Um, you are going to get the heal everyone mech thing because occasionally this repulse is not not coming into play, and I'm wrong because we need to do the acid thing on this particular guy, which means that the repair people thing is going to go onto our. Each have one power. This doesn't take any power. So I take you off. Right? And then put you here. Power that thing. And move the Healy Doodle here. Yeah. Alright. That's our that's our best attempt. Okay, let's do Frozen, and then we'll see if we can push our way onto the, the next island. The humans employed at Pinnacle are just as important as the sentient machines. We must stop the Vec to save all life. You got it, buddy. Pinnacle Garden, high threat? High threat. Uh, let's do... Kill seven enemies, that's difficult, but we have to do it anyway eventually. There's an ice storm which will not help, it will only freeze enemies, making it actually probably harder to kill them. So we're going to screw this up. This one we could probably manage. And we'll get grid defense if we actually succeed, which is kind of nice. Let's start here with Cryogenic Labs and we'll move on to Pinnacle Garden. So, less than three grid damage protects the emergency batteries. Assuming all these guys are going to unfreeze slowly. That's what they did last time, and then I had to shoot them all. They don't spawn. They just unfreeze. Oh, a Leaper. I guess it has more move. Hmm. Okay, airplane. Here, you. There. Not quite sure. We'll see who unfreezes, I suppose. Those guys, apparently. All of those guys. You only have one hit point. Why don't we go here, shoot that guy, move you here, knock that thing into the water, move this guy over here, and shoot that guy. Now we have two smokes on the field, and no enemies. And we killed an enemy that was frozen. Yes, I see that you're threatening me. So you can... Just shoot the tank guy, and then... Your airplane powers will allow you to leap vigorously. No unfreeze regardless. Guess I may as well stand in your way, sort of, just to see what happens. I can do this. Why is acid? Pfft. He'll just break out of his fancy shell. Jink. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Dur -dur -dur. He's so leapy. I wouldn't have so many hit points. Okay, so I can just push this guy into the mountain. That's fine. This guy will get pushed by the 
Well, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll jump over, we'll smoke. Um, right? Yeah, because you can't make it there to do the cool acid push thing. I don't want to know what acid does. But... Ah, there we go. Is inflicted with acid. Its defense is corroded. Incoming weapon damage will be doubled. Whoa! Okay. And that means inflicts acid on the first thing that lands on that space. Okay, so that's going to be a uh, jump over. And then you are going to shoot him. And my boat will take damage, but it's... Uh, there are no other enemies. I guess we'll move up here to get the smoke into a better position just to get our... Um, for... <laughs> move into a better position so that it becomes a better habit and then we consider. Okay, uh, GG everyone, well played. There are no enemies. Nice! Nothing was damaged. Go team. We secured the heck out of that region. And boom, we got some more defense juice. Okay. Alright, let's do the Pinnacle Garden. Oh, we have power available? Why'd you get power? When did that happen? Oh, because the repair drop was free. Well, let's do health, because you can move up close and do those rocket artillery barrages from, from nearby. And get the smoke where it needs to be. Alright. We got jumpy dudes. We got flying dudes. We got a pod. Oh, wait, what? What was that? A laser bot. Did you just... Where did he come from? Oh boy, high threat was not a joke. Um, let's see... I could just move this guy. He only has one hit point, but he'll be... cured. Pushed, which was which is good. That means that the attack won't hit. Let's do the, this. Gonna grab our pod. And then we're gonna jump over here. So this guy electric deaths next turn. This guy is going to. Knock back this unit. Can you attack two squares? Dang it. Can't think of a better solution though here. He should take the damage because the armor doesn't reduce weapon damage. And the artillery barrage will just hit that smoke, which is not anything valuable. Nick can't move, unfortunately. So he will take how much damage? Two? Yeah, that's kind of terrible. You'll die at the start of the next turn, which is great news. Okay. I guess that laser bot isn't doing anything yet, which is nice. Ah, the smoke got gone because there was a fire. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That laser bot woke up, and it was blocked. What do you guys just spawn each other? What are you doing? This <laughs> is a disaster of visualizing what the heck is going on. You have two hit points, you have two hit points. You have four hit points. 
and you will attack this building unless I can do something about it. You could shoot him. Oh, but you're just attacking this direction. It's almost irrelevant. So we could do something like you hit this guy, which pushes into this guy for the damage. Or we could shoot this guy. Or we could repair. You just need to get off of this line. You push here. Actually kind of need, need space to maneuver. I need to remove this guy. Aha, here's an idea. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, let's do that. I have a new idea. And then if I push, this will kill both of them. And then my plane can do something. What if I move here and push? This guy can't actually attack either of these things because there's no... no way to get there. Um, one hit point. One hit point. Oh, jeez, I might as well destroy one of these guys, right? Or create a smoke somewhere useful. Could do that. Or, I oh know that's the passive turn. Alright, let's destroy one of these guys then. Which will also create a smoke in a relatively useful place. Near the enemy. Pew! Pew! Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, what the heck is this guy? Ah. My good, my goodness. <sighs> okay. You will acid all the things. Oh, but if I knock you back one, you'll acid the allies. Airplane can take out this guy, or I can go here and push them. What order do they go in? We're going to go here and push. It's going to solve a lot more problems. But we need to move our artillery first. We have to decide. No, if I push, I'll knock him into the building. Okay. Um... This guy is not relevant. This guy is relevant. We only have two turns. You can't make it here. You could make it there and knock him backwards. Oh no, he'll block the attack, which will only deal one damage, but in a, an area. You have... I wonder if it's worth sacrificing this one building. Or the potential for that building. To knock him into it. This guy into my tank. To damage him. Then he can shoot it to death. This guy will be free. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. It's unfortunate, but it's the best option. This guy's now not a threat. This guy can be shot. And 
Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll smoke him and we'll take our... That's what we have to do. So he'll also die on the start of the turn. Whew. There's another mech coming up. They're threatening that building. They're leaping and enveloping my plane again. You are artillerying something way over there. You're attacking my artillery. I think that should be okay. I think we go here, we shoot this guy, or uh, we can't knock back far enough. The move speeds are pretty low these days. Knock into the building is a poor choice. Um, jumps over, kills that guy. One, two, one, two, three, four in the fire. It's just a laser beam, I can't block it. Uh, two hit points. Okay. Move here, can't push from there. You can't move. This is an unfortunate circumstance. I really should have taken out this robot early on. But I did not consider that he would spawn more robots. It does not say that he will spawn more robots. That's okay, we'll lose a grid. It's been tough, but we'll have gotten a bunch of um, additional rewards. Yeah, you have to jump here. There's nothing else to be done. 20% chance that the factory will not be damaged. Oh, but I can't even make it there anyway. Um, wait a second. I forgot I had a thing. That's, you know, it's on fire. I assume that doesn't happen if we just move there. Because we could just undo the move, right? I'm wrong. <sighs> what if we artilleried... This guy from over here. One, two, three, four, artillery, that guy. Then. Problem is the push on the acid. Right, because I'm thinking I'll acid this guy, but then I'll run into the building. Or I can sacrifice my less experienced but still pretty cool pilot by flying into this fire and then jumping over this guy. I don't see a better way. You know what? It's going to be the last turn, so let's reset it anyway. Just to see if there's something better I can do. So you move here, now it's really this guy, then my plane is free. Again, I can't actually make it anywhere far enough with my acid dude. Pushes. Don't think I have a better choice. I think that doing the artillery on this guy to protect both of those buildings is critical, especially since that's the defense lab. And then either 
There's no way to make this not on fire. What I could do is instead of sacrificing my pilot, I can sacrifice this building. So I go here, just like last time. Destroy this guy. Let's talk it through first. Then I jump with my plane. It doesn't matter what order you're doing, but I jump with my plane. This guy moves one, two, three, four, and pushes, or moves and shoots, it doesn't matter. This guy. He dies. This building is potentially saved. This building is potentially damaged. Or this building is saved. This building is potentially damaged. Which means you lose a star if we screw it up. But no pilots die. Alright. Healing everyone is not useful in this context. Let's hope we roll the resist. It's the best we can do. Nope. Oh wait, defend the factory is one of two undamaged? Did we still succeed? Because we had to defend the factories plural non-exclusive? No, okay, one was damaged, so we only lost a star. You know what, we got the pod, we got the core, it was a difficult mission, no one died. We took two grid damage, I think that was a good mission. That's the best we could do for the situation. We only lost one objective. That's pretty dang good. Okay. Whew. Well, I have been Flailbot. This has been very intense. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode.